Chances are you know someone who needed a stent placed in a blocked artery to restore blood flow in the heart. Two million people get them each year. But for those dealing with blocked arteries in the legs, especially below the knee, the options are limited until now. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins reports on a new study involving a stent that actually disappears. 20 Americans over age 50 has peripheral artery disease or PAD. Not only does it raise the risk of heart attack and stroke, it can also lead to leg amputation. It happens when the artery in the leg gets clogged with plaque. Currently, treatment is angioplasty, using a balloon to press the plaque to the walls of the artery. While it works well in the thigh, not so great below the knee. When you do angioplasty, as soon as you take the balloon down and you remove it, you get significant recoil and the blockage comes back. Abbott created the dissolvable stent nearly two decades ago, made of a bioabsorbable polymer that disappears over time. It's been tested in the legs of more than 200 patients. And the trial showed that the stent did exactly what we wanted it to do. Usually stents are permanent, but that can have potential problems. They can fracture. They also can form scar tissue inside of them, which makes it more difficult to deal with and treat if patients come back with a scar tissue. Like internal stitches, the device dissolves, usually in a year or two, which may help if the patient gets another clogged artery. If the patient does come back, their stent is gone. So it's like starting from scratch. We don't have to deal with this stent that is already there and have to deal with the issues and the complexities. The study just published in the New England Journal of Medicine and information currently being submitted to the FDA. Usually it takes about three to six months and we're keeping our fingers crossed that this will be the second device that we are involved with that's going to be approved by FDA to prevent amputation. So it's very exciting for us. Now, you might remember the other device he's talking about is the limb flow device. That was just approved by the FDA last month. That device restores blood flow to lower limbs and people who have no other options. So if this one is approved, it would help those where angioplasty is not possible or failed. And keep in mind, Lena, it's pretty prestigious that one of our local doctors was published in the New England Journal of Medicine twice in a year. That's oh. like going to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. That's pretty <laughs> impressive for sure. You know, you had mentioned that Abbott created the dissolvable stent some 20 years ago. Has there ever been a stent like this before? Yeah, actually, uh, Abbott's disappearing stent was approved for the heart in the early 2000s, but after they were using it, they found it wasn't as cost effective as they'd hoped, so the manufacturer pulled it from the market in 2018. Keep in mind, there was also a lot of competition in the market for heart stents as well, so there's not much for pad treatment, mm. something nearly 12 million people have in the U.S., and many don't even know it. How about that? Monica, thanks so much for that. We appreciate it. Sure.